found my perfect sound. Can you see the fire in my eyes? Bitches burning now. Lightning in a bottle. I think I just found my perfect sound. Can you see the fire in my eyes? Bitches burning now. Diggity dude groozy. Yo, what it do? First choice fantasy. Going on. We're back after a pretty hot week three in the NFL fantasy football. You know what I'm saying? So uh start sits last week. We were on fire. Not really. But <laughs> I would I would feel comfortable in saying that based and on had his best week. week by far. Brandon and I went 500, although a third of the picks that I made got injured. So it's kind of scary for the guys on my list. Yeah, I uh it is what it is. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling great, and I'm making a comeback on your bitch asses. I'm and third. it's still last in the overall standings. <laughs> I am edging out Brandon to win percentage. Yeah. Keep Hard strong. It's a tight match, though. Actually, I'm two games over. I mean, I have two up. picks over 500. We're one. All right, man. Fuck it. Let's just get it done. We got quarterbacks. We got tight ends this week. I'm going to start off with one that's definitely not going to hit. If you're looking for a streaming <laughs> option, consider Mac Jones. You might think that's fucking ridiculous. I would say, all right, well, maybe. But consider this. He threw the ball 51 times last year, last week. Oh, he threw it more than 51 it times last year. <laughs> really conservative offense over that Alabama. 51 times, they're going to be prob- – they're going to have to score points in this game. Tampa, like, I, Brady's going to – He's man's gonna want to put some points on the board, so like they're gonna be throwing the ball. Dude's got to have some touchdowns at some point. He's got three games and two touchdowns with like almost a fucking hundred and twenty attempts on this. Like he's gonna get some more touchdowns. He's due. Not a bad option if you're uh, not looking too hot quarterback position. But Brandon. Uh, I went with another streamer this week. It's uh. Taylor Heineke against Atlanta. Uh, so if you're looking to stream, Heineke has been a QB one, I believe, the past two weeks since he started. Somehow, some way. Uh, although he hasn't looked the best doing it, he did play Buffalo last week, and that's a pretty solid defense. And the Giants are a good defense in their own right. Uh, and now they're playing Atlanta. It's going to be a cakewalk defense at the very least. Um, I believe that Atlanta can still have the ability to put up points, even though the fantasy players on that team don't show it very often. But um, Heineke, I think it's going to be a good game. Heineke is a start. I don't know who else to start. It is a pretty toasty commodity after being just such a great guy and a great player and just a great overall Dude, person, yeah, dude, forgot about that term. Good person, we got the dude who just loves to take shots downfield, and that is Aaron Rodgers. You know, he just tosses it deep, MVS pops up, and he catches Devontae Adams. He, <laughs> he looked, he looked concussed, he was not concussed. Um, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, what's going on? He's going to be lighting the Pittsburgh Steelers up at home in Green Bay. Um, granted, I do think it's going to be a shootout. I don't think it's going to be a running back shootout like Brandon thinks in the future episode, but I do think it's going to be a quarterback shootout, like a dual type of thing. And Aaron Rodgers is going to be slinging it. MVS might not play. He's a little questionable, I believe, uh, hamstring injury, something like that. But uh, he still got Devontae Adams, the man who eyeballs are in the back of his head somehow, came out the next play. Didn't make any sense to me, but uh, he still has that person. Uh, Pittsburgh secondary is sus after letting Joe Burrow just run all over him last week with, I think, three touchdowns, interception, um, with a suspect offensive line and you know the Pittsburgh Steelers are known for yeah it's out the window uh Aaron Rodgers gonna be top 10 quarterback this week that's not what I'm saying starting for he's gonna exceed expectations but I do think top 10 is in his likely range of outcomes good luck with Ben Roethlisberger in a shootout I shouldn't say to sit him but I'm gonna say to sit Derek Carr at the Chargers, Derek Carr is like QB nine or some shit like that. And like he, maybe he'll just keep being Derek Carr and he'll put up another twenty four points. This week. But I think it's kind of tough. Chargers, uh, they're vulnerable in the one run game, but they defend the pass very well. They do not give up a lot of big plays. I'm gonna say they put a cap on this man. He doesn't throw as many touchdowns, but probably will anyway. But sit him. I got Teddy. Bridge they put a hat on him. 
They did put a hat put on. A cap him. on. Maybe that's why he's doing much. Maybe they won't put a hat season. on. Him. I mean, if they put like a sun hat on him, he won't be able to see. Can't see anyways. It's sunny though. enough over yeah, there. Just tossing the ball. Up. I got a Teddy Bridgewater <laughs> as a sit. They're going against Baltimore. It's going to be two elite defenses facing off. Uh, I can see it being a pretty low-scoring game. And that's about it. Teddy is the GOAT. Teddy Didgewater, dog water, is not the GOAT. Take chill pill, just like these motherfuckers thinking that Sam Darnold is back. He accidentally got into your stash of chill pills, and that's why he's going to be a sit this week. I don't take chill pills, believe it or not. I live. You're handing them out to us. You're a chill pill Uh, dealer. (laughs) You got a good point. I didn't think about that. (laughs) That's how Uh, you uh, say control the minds of your fellow citizens. You keep them medicated and yourself extremely wired. Become a drug dealer. Yeah. (laughs) All right. So just don't say it on YouTube. That's true. That's a good point. Setting (laughs) the two people I am sitting. I'm I'm sitting two quarterbacks, by the way. Not just Sam Darnold. I'm wearing blue, and I I think the Panthers have been looking nice, but they're playing another blue team that the defense I like a lot. They're forcing turnovers left and right. Uh, Sam Darnold hasn't really had a test thus far, Um, and I think he's going to have a test against the Cowboys in Dallas. Uh, Pressure him a lot. You know, you lose McCaffrey, your safety valve. You're going to struggle probably. So, I mean, I don't know if the offense is going to look too hot this week, and I think this is their first L. uh, and I like the Dallas defense. So, I mean, that's a smart sit, I would say. I mean, if you picked him up last week and started him like Brandon did or Brandon said to or something like that, yeah. uh, you're probably confident in him running forward, but I wouldn't be. So, just take a chill pill on that one. Second one, oh, Daniel man, Jones. Man. Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. Lost Darren Shepard. Lost Darius Slayton in the same game. I don't know if they're back or not, but it doesn't matter because Daniel Jones can play against the Saints. Uh, motherfucking Xavier started Daniel Jones over Josh Allen last week. You see what happened there. Bad decisions, bad decisions. So uh, just listen to this decision. And just don't even <laughs> don't bother thinking about starting Daniel Jones this week because it's the Saints and he's lacking weapons and it's Daniel Jones. So, Ooh. all right, tight ends. Um, so I'm so excited again to these tight ends. Yeah, uh, you know <laughs> Dawson Knox has caught a touchdown in back to back games. He, not gonna happen he's not. Again. But <laughs> you say, Brandon. Dawson on the doors. Okay. Yeah, well, he's going to be knocking on the doors in the fucking red zone against the Houston Texans. I literally forgot their name for a minute. They're they're back, and Josh Allen's going to be doing whatever he wants, and if you're looking for just a guy that might catch a touchdown as a tight end, you can do a lot worse than just Dawson Knox. Yeah, That's it. I don't agree, but uh... – I'm not a huge Dawson believer. Neither am I. I'm a Josh Allen believer. I'm a believer in Kyle Pitts this week. I think he's going to have a bounce back week. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Ryan's going to start throwing it to him this week. I call it. Uh, Washington has been a uh, vulnerable defense, to say the least. And Hmm. by God, the Falcons need an easy defense to play against, but by no means Washington's an easy defense. However, I think Pitts is just going to be used better this week. Uh, He had the most snap percentage he's had all season at 84% last week and had the fewest amount of targets. So that kind of counterintuitive, but uh, Kyle Pitts is just going to be a start this week. He's going to have a good week. He's going to catch a touchdown pass. I'm, I'm calling it this week. Week four is his week. He was, what, pick four? Now he's going to catch a touchdown week four. Oh, I like the numbers. Big math guy. Big numbers guy. Obviously. obviously. Yeah, I was going to go Kyle Pitts if you hadn't. But, I mean, you think about it, that's not really like a – if you have Kyle Pitts and you're benching him, you probably should be playing fantasy football. Aaron Rodgers, though. You know what I mean? Aaron Rodgers. (laughs) uh, You're not wrong. But, I mean, that's close, though. You're teetering there because tight ends, there's like – Five that you can like consistently seven. Maybe we got Sam Darnold, Aaron Rodgers. You feel Sam confident Darnold. in George Kittle? Stop disrespecting. All right, you don't feel what you t- goodbye. All right, on Two to exaggeration, on to, but seven hell no, seven. You got oh. under your chill pills stash. No, I, I threw them away. I'm freaking hot <laughs> pill right now. 
All right, uh, my tight end sit is, or start. I'm not sitting this man. He's a start. You shouldn't <laughs> sit him either. You should start him. <laughs> you probably don't have him on your roster. I have him. He's deep. Oh, do you? In NFL yeah. or in uh, fantasy? Yeah, more in fantasy. In redrafts? No, I actually just dropped him, I believe. <laughs> I might everyone's everyone's going to be chopping the bit next week. No, Go get I him. have him in our dynasty league. And you should start him over Darren Waller this week for this reason specifically. Ready for it? I, I'm even not, said his name. <laughs> I didn't say his name. Yeah. No. His name. His name is Deep Cole Komet. Cole Komet against the Lions outside. It's going to be a little spooky out there. Um, the That's Lions defense nice. is spooky. Mark Andrew just snapped on the Lions defense as well. Lions defense is again spooky. And it's the first week. It's first week of October, so it's spooky season. You know what I'm saying? Um, Fair. Okay. Good observation. And supposedly Cole Komet was like Justin Fields' guy, like in preseason last week. You didn't really get to see Justin Fields like too hot. Obviously, he might not even play this week, but I do think Cole Komet is playing a decent amount of snaps, and a decent amount of routes. He's gonna get a good look. Last week was not a good look, and I think this is the week with the good look. I think one of the Bears players will go off, and I, I'm saying it's Cole Komet because I mean. It's a tight end. If I get it wrong, I get it wrong. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Cole Komet had 96% snaps. Uh, he was in the game 96% of the time. He had four targets. Doesn't leave the field. Darno Mooney had four targets. So he like is Darno Mooney passes, as a tight end. So Alan Robinson had six targets. And he was on the field 89%. Alan Robertson, what is going on? Cole Roberts. Komet, hell, hell, Alan Robertson. Cole Komet is Allen Robinson cloned into a tight end's and body, gained a little bit of balance, and he's going to get a touchdown in week four instead of Allen Robinson. So, start him. All right. You know who's not getting a touchdown in week four? Fucking let's hear it. Both Rob Gronkowski. Because Bill Belichick is not going to let that happen. Absolutely not. I, he's going to go out there, and he's going to tell his linebackers and his safeties and his cornerbacks and his defensive line, if Gronk scores, you're off my team. So you're either going to not let him score or you're going to get cut. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to not let him score. So Chris Godwin, four touchdowns, Gronk, nothing. Is Gronk back on the face route? No. Uh, Jared Cook went from my starts last week to the fucking bench. Dude disappeared. I thought he had some juice left there. But I don't even know what happened to the man. You said his use, you said he was getting used. He was. And then – so he I was. guess he got abused, right? Yeah, and then he Use started abuse. getting abused, even though he had he was out there the most out of the past three weeks. Wow, sounded like I was growling. <laughs> you got a little <laughs> depressed there, <laughs> Jared Cook. You do it to me sometimes, man. Uh, he had three targets, two receptions, twenty-seven yards. What? I don't know. That's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling stunned, stunned, and and betrayed. I was a huge, I am a huge fan of Jared Cook, but this week just the matchup in general isn't the best, um, and it's gonna be a set. Yeah, you want you know you English Ed, get it out. The tight ends or the what am I saying? You said you felt betrayed and you felt down in the dumps and you felt like you know upset because Jared Cook did you dirty. You know who else did you dirty? John New Smith did you dirty because Johnny that was did. your guy and uh, he's yeah. been nowhere so week three right. played like less than 50 percent of the snaps hunter henry's had, he had like amount. six targets pretty sure oh i didn't and had like zero catches <laughs> yeah yeah it's six six targets one uh reception and i Four heard yards. there was one catch he had or not catch i heard there was one pass attempt to him where he like flailed around and tossed the ball up and it was picked off Oh, that's who I that was. I didn't see it, but I was so, okay. I was that was him. So he was the guy that gave up the pick six. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's the guy you should sit this week. That's probably why he played the fewest amount of snaps he's played in the past two weeks. I was wondering who that was. Yeah. Right. Oh, John. All right. Um, real quick, best quarterback. I'm going to go with Ed Start Rogers. But it's close, though. It is close. close. It's really close. Uh, close. What else is close? Josh Allen. It's not going to be close because he's going to by far outscore Aaron Rodgers. But I mean, he uh, is playing the Houston Texans, right? It is the useless Texans. So, oh. 
there's a chance they just get completely blown away but then again we thought that about the uh panthers and that didn't happen i want to hear about a team getting blown away it's the philadelphia eagles by patty mahomes travis kelsey uh it's going to be a dynamic duo and uh yeah by the way that is also tight end one of the week mahomes and kelsey gonna hook up for about 18 hours 200 yards and five touchdowns so expect it and be ready for it that's Alex's tight end as well. Uh, my tight end is Alex's it's wrong. fit. It's Gronk, not Belichick. wrong. It's Gronk. And Bill Belichick Russell will come Austin. out there himself personally prevent no. Gronk. And Tom scoring. Brady is gonna say, "Hey, listen, bitch, you're over on the sideline. I'm out here on the field, and hey, I'm listen, tossing bitch. these balls to Gronkowski." And then one of the uh, oh, Patriots yeah. staffers is gonna slip a little uh, sleep medicine into Tom's a little, uh, little bit water bottle. Specialty chill pills to. <laughs> Gronkowski. Yeah. <laughs> my, my specialty you give him pills. a big ass douche because it's going to take a lot to get him down. Yeah. yeah they probably, the viewers probably need a good bit of uh, chill pills as well to watch these episodes because they're yeah. so long, you know? Ah. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm so. capping. You might want to take a chill pill though and actually click the like button. Just yeah, chill true. out. Click the like button. Comment something. Have a conversation with us in the comments. Take a chill pill to have a conversation with us because we're going to be very fast in responses. So you might want to be like, "Oh, let me have them slow down." But we don't take we don't take chill pills over here. You might want to. So take a chill pill or two. Comment. Subscribe. Wait, forget. we tried. We tried offering out a uh, sports card. Why don't we just start offering out chill pills? Chill pills. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, sports cards ain't working. It's chill pills legal. might. Chill pills are illegal in. <laughs> Uh, uh, they're they're illegal the tenure. <laughs> it's illegal, <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless you're All in California, them. New Jersey, and Colorado, <laughs> please do not reach out to us. All right. <laughs> Without further ado, like, comment, share, subscribe. First choice fantasy. We'll catch you in the running backs, wide receivers episode. All right, later. All right.